So here we go with yours then. Obviously we um, diagnosed you as a smooth. It's a real treat to catch a smooth. We don't see too many smooths these days. Uh, but um, there's still room for improvement, as there always is with all swimmers. And I seriously think that, I think you've got a target of getting down 24 minutes for a mile. You're easily going to achieve that. So, first thing to address is the fact that you are holding on to your breath. Um, we will keep an eye on that as we go through this footage, but at that point you are definitely holding on to your breath, which um, we'll see if that affects any other part of your body position as a result of that as we go forwards. Right, let's just play a few strokes of this first. Fantastic leg kick. That is just really nice and balanced. Possibly just a little bit wayward on that left foot there. Does the right do it? Not so much. There we go. Just a little bit of dorsiflexing on that point. We'll see it more when you come back from the other way. Right. Let's talk about the stroke issues once you've turned. Just have a quick look at that. Yeah. I don't think I'll pick you up on your uh, tumble turns um, something for you to figure out I think yourself right so I'm a little bit worried about high, how high on each stroke actually the hand is relate in relationship to the elbow we can make some massive improvements just by getting that hand as you can see there at that point lower down forearms okay Uh, rather upper arms okay forearm wants to be down there more if we can um, find a clip of Jono he's a fellow smooth I'm sure you'll appreciate some of the comparisons ah, that's good right Let's get John in exactly the same position you are. Come on. There we go. That's about the same. Okay, you can see there that Jono's lead arm is actually level in line with his shoulder and yours is up. Okay, so you're just putting the brakes on. You're taking enough of an edge off of that speed that you're generating just by doing that. Look at the other side. There we go. Can't really see when that hand comes out, but if you look at the clip, from the hand entry, you see it's always level with the shoulder. There we go. Here's the hand entry then. So it's coming in. Come on, stop going backwards. There we go. Fingers, wrist, elbow, completely in line with the shoulder. It drops as the shoulder drops. And at full extension, there, if anything, it's just a little bit low, below. Okay? Just as I'm trying to point out there. That enables him to set a much better catch-up as he drops the fingers and the forearm and then presses back. And you see that? You're just putting the brakes on fractionally with every single stroke. Now as normal with um, with uh, smooths, it's just small points that can um, that we're normally addressing that just make all that difference. 
Right, okay, so we're definitely holding on to our breath, and we're also coming in thumb first. Remember we um, when we were doing the um, 616s, the 636s, and the pop-off, all those drills with the fins on, really good opportunity then, and single arm stuff actually, they're the perfect drills for you to be looking at and thinking about that hand coming in flat. All it's going to do is avoid that shoulder injury. And there's the break. All of that surface there is just taking the edge off. Remember what I said about the comparison between how dense water is to air. So you want to stay as streamlined as possible. So your hand wants to be more down here. It's not a lot, but it's enough to make a really, really big difference. Stroke timing is very, very good. We discussed, there we go, front quadrant swimming. So just as that hand's coming in, this one's just going behind the head. Really nice catch and press through. Still room for improvement there though. I would prefer to see that elbow further forward on that part of the stroke more like Shelley Taylor had okay with that what's called that early vertical forearm so the, the actual actions right but you can see it's it's a bit of a pullback you'll get a lot more um, power generated by pressing back and uh, that actually brings me on to a good point that I wanted to get through um, on Sunday but we never got the chance because of the speed the others were swimming other swimmers were progressing at. Do you remember I got you to go through a series of touching your thighs to uh, get that subconscious trigger going? Just to take you on a bit further on from that. So every time as that stroke finishes you just are there actually touching the thigh right at that point so you should have been doing that every time we stroked. Remember I said, once we've established that subconscious trigger, just before that's going to happen, so at that point there, we want these fingers dropping. So if we've got that forearm more coming down there from the elbow, then we just want those fingers just beginning to drop like that. Yep, as that one's finishing. That then gets that catch sorted a little bit earlier because you can see there, there is an actual bit of a pause from this stroke finishing to this one really starting to catch there. That's where you're just beginning to do some work. So there's a very small fraction of an overglide to your stroke. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but it's enough again to... Um, just take a little bit of the edge off that you've of the speed that you've obviously naturally got. Uh, but then going on from that, and this is the bit we never got round to covering, is if you remember, I was telling you to lift the hip out the way as the hand passes through. So as the hand passes through, and you can see that there's not a lot of hip lift. There's room for more. What I want you to start thinking about doing. So lifting that hip out the way as that hand passes through, what I really want you to start doing once you've got that feel for the hip movement is to start moving that hip when you're there. So at that point of the stroke now, you start thinking about lifting this hip up. Okay, so instead of doing it when the hand's back there and you're lifting the hip out of the way of the hand, you're lifting it as part of the power stroke here and what this will do is it will you'll feel it straight away if you get it right you'll get the lats and the upper back really engaged much more it's really really highly powerful um, elite swimming style okay so I was hoping that we were going to get onto that on Sunday and we never got a chance but do some series of, of sets where you actually really feel the lift coming through as the hand passes through touching the thigh and then introduce that feel of the hip coming up when the hand's here. Okay, 
Um, that's it. Any problems with anything, don't hesitate to contact me. We're always here to help. Uh, and I wish you all the best for the future. Look forward to hearing from you as well with any of your other swimming ventures.